for me, this book, I'm so glad somebody did it. I think Master of Puppets, it was still rebellious. There was still an innocence to it. Back then it was just still the four of us in a van out to conquer the world. Master of Puppets seemed to be kind of the culmination of James and I getting together, writing some songs, Kirk and Cliff joining, and that lineup kind of settling. How this came about was, I think, seeing the Jaws book that Matt put together and being blown away by it. I have to say, man, this is pr probably the most uh, the comprehensive uh, book about the movie Jaws I've ever seen. I mean, whoever did this was obsessive about it. When he came to us and pitched that, uh, idea of doing something for Metallica, it made total sense. What sets this book apart is Matt's desire and his passion to really try to connect with the energy of Master of Puppets. I just think this book obviously goes to, to a different depth, to a different level of detail, and to a different level of anecdotes and storytelling. Just the photos alone and the archive is so deep and rich. You know, each page is, is a unique experience in itself. I still miss Cliff. So seeing photos that I haven't seen before, especially where we're together, that is, that is awesome. The timeline that he's created, and, it, and, and it's not even obvious either, you know? You kind of like get the sense of the timeline just by flipping by it. I think that in itself is just phenomenal and a great thing to offer. This is what I would have wanted in my library a collection of all the cool stuff that fans had around the world. I mean, this is, a, this is like a Metallica family yearbook. We're happy to authorize it, obviously, but we're also happy to provide colorful commentary. It's the right project at the right time by, by the right person. It's here, finally!